So this is an example that a student did a few years ago, which um, shows you what 100% looks like. Um, she works incredibly hard. This isn't about, you know, you all aiming for 100%, but this is about you understanding how the developments and the artists that you look at can successfully lead to a good project. She looked at the idea of collections um, being about architecture, memories, places she'd been, all that sort of thing. So the, the, the first page, the collections theme, you got the skyline on there. She started to focus on Mark Powell because she liked the idea of him working over other documents that had significance. Um, so although she emulated the eye image, later on she was going to focus on her own imagery, which was the architecture. Here you can see she's looked at architectural features. Um, it's a presentation page that shows different types of doorways, windows, chimneys, columns, interesting parts that you would find in architectural um, details. She went to Durham, so she used that experience of actually going first hand, taking her own photographs. She found some bits of historical information and did some little bits of drawing uh, as a result of that visit. Hebden Bridge, it's home, it's where we're from. She wanted to incorporate different elements of that. So she got the maps and inspired by um, Mark Powell, she started to work over the top of the maps with continuous line drawings of different architectural features, lights and windows and things like that. Um, again, there's some more studies here from her own personal visits. Um, she uh, obviously went to the, the Keith Cathedral in Durham. She's taken photographs and things inside. Um, Hebden Bridge, you know, working over envelopes, um, stamps, things like that, all inspired by Mark Powell. Again, experimenting with colour on top of the, the samples. So when she'd done the drawings um, onto the maps, she could then photocopy them or scan them and then work into those copies to get more mileage. Ed Fairburn was another artist that she looked at. She liked the idea of the continuous line drawing. She liked the way that he, he used the map and that linked in really well with the stuff that she'd been doing over the Hebden Bridge work. Helena Sharpley um, is a wire drawing artist who had exhibited in Hebden. Um, she'd seen the work where she'd done wire drawings of buildings and things like that. And it was that idea of the continuous line, but just taking it into relief. So um, the student played around with that, had a go at making her own version um, of the lamp. And then that led her through to looking at different textiles artists, because drawing with a sewing machine is just a continuous line drawing. So she'd looked at Harriet Popham, she looked at Anne Brook and the way that she used unusual materials, you know, not just fabric. She mixed in wallpapers and papers and maps and, and um, text and all sorts of things that, that made the work more personal. Then she started to look at the idea of building up texture, um, masking off shapes, positive and negative shapes. You know, the, the natural world as well as the man-made world and Casey Stafford was an inspiration for that. Again, the colours and the techniques from Casey Stafford with the rubbings have come through into this work that she's developing from Helena Sharpley, her own photographs and Anne Brooke. And here you can see she's got some nice biro drawing that she's built up from one of her photographs inspired by Mark Powell. This slide here shows you how you can take the same image and translate it into different types of techniques and different types of media. So you're really getting um, a higher range of marks for that particular um, element, you know, that particular assessment objective. She was very lucky. She went to see Hundevassa's actual architecture um, in Vienna. I've not been myself, as I say, I'm, I'm, I'm very jealous. Um, and so she picked up bits of souvenirs, bits of leaflets, postcards. She took her own photographs and it was really quite influential on what she did. Um, again, here we can see her actual photographs that she presented. Um, looking at local artist Kate Lysett, again, the way that she uses colour to represent Hebden Bridge and local scenes. She looked at the way that she'd um, represented Whitby in her um, you know, more recent piece. And she liked the idea of the patchwork of colours and the way that it sort of created a, almost like a textiles pattern. Then she went to the beach and she started to look at the idea of beach huts. It reminded her of Hundavasa, all the bright colours, the repeated shapes. And this was what led her to like some of her final development pieces. 
She did some mixed media pieces, which have got the ripped stuff in the background inspired by Anne Brook. She'd stitched over the top. Um, she'd done different prints, different digital images. She did um, things where she scanned things, printed over the top, drew over the top, layered images. And again, here you can see how she's starting to play around with different ideas, different materials. Some are done in fabric, some are paper. Here is her development of stitch. Um, she's experimented all sorts of different qualities of line onto different surfaces, mixing and matching drawings, fabrics, printed elements, um, papers, all those sorts of things. And then when it came to the um, Diane Jones workshop, the silk painting workshop, she decided she was going to develop a design using the beach huts, but with little elements of Hundavasa um, and the minarets and, and things like that showing through. She actually then, on the paper print, added some gold leaf to it, um, inspired by Kate Lysett, which was really nice. I don't have a photograph of that, though. And these were two final pieces that she did. Um, they were done onto a canvas. They were, they were stitched first and then stitched and added onto the canvas. Um, they were built up in relief. There was loads of freehand stitch, mixed media, um, you know, really successful continuation from that original stage where she looked at the buildings, the shapes, the line drawings. You can see the influence of Hundavasa. You can see the influence of Anne Brooke, um, of Helena Sharpley, all of those people. It really comes through clearly, but she's made it her own, which is the important thing.